Hi, my name is Hani and I'm going to share to you about Fika's progress after one month of learning Serbian. You will be surprised. Hi, I'm Fika and I'm from Indonesia and my native language is Indonesian. Of. Of is odd. Odd. And after listening to the test words, I will check this. Ali. Kakab je život u Japanu. Kakab je život u Japanu. A Da li si živjela sama u Japanu? Uh, uglavnom, radi uh-huh. svaki dan. Uh-huh. Zašto je došla sama? Zašto? Šta je? Aha, dobro, uh-huh. dobro. Fika is from Indonesia. And her native language is Indonesian. Despite the hundreds of ethnic groups and languages in Indonesia, I only know Minangkabau language among them, but I also know Japanese, Korean, and a little bit of Tagalog. Right now, I want to learn Serbian. I don't have any experiences with the language, but I want to challenge myself. Why chose Serbian out of these languages? Uh-huh. It's very different. The reason is this. Before a few months, we are looking for someone who will do an experiment of learning Serbian for three months, two hours per day, and six days per week at least. So we found Fika. She don't know Serbian at all. She don't know any single Serbian words. She don't know anyone who speaks Serbian, and she is not living in Serbia. It means she is a total beginner. Tell me more, tell me more. So at first, it was very hard for her to learn vocabulary because all of the words are new to her. She must optimize her learning. We gave her strategies, techniques on how to remember those words. And also, she did exercises, listening, reading. To je moja nova kuća. Vrata u mojoj kući su brown. Constructing sentences, speaking, and after one month passed, it was actually last week, we had a call with her. I am with Nicola. Nicola is a Serbian native speaker. It was our first conversation in Serbian, and I was so impressed. We talk about her life in Japan. Kakab je život u Japanu. Ja živela u Japanu. Jedan godina. She studied there. She got scholarship from her country. U fakultetu je ljudi stranci student. Zato pričala uh, engleske mm-hmm. i indonetski. I indonetski. 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 So we asked her about it. Gde si živala u Japanu? Kom si grada? U gradu Jofe se je Sukuba. Sukuba je blizu Tokyo. We asked her about her life there. What languages she is usually talking or in school, what language they are using or in the public places with her friends. Kat isla u prodavnici u pizza pizza yatu pričala uh, japanski anything we asked her are in serbian da li si živela sama u japanu uh, da li si živela sama u japanu da uh, živela sama uh, ali Mnogo Indonesi uh, student uh, za me za uh, moj moj mojo prošle fakulteto. And also, I had a call with her the day before yesterday. I asked her what she is doing after her work because she have work now. Posle posla idem u kuću i kupim hranu. Uh, za večeru i uh, jedan večeru oko šest sati popotne. Posle naučim srpski uh, za um, dva sati. Dva sati. Uh, dva sat. Posle uh, 
videm nekoliko video u Netflixu ili uh, YouTubeu. She mentioned one movie and she explained the story of the movie in Serbian. Imagine after one month of learning. Devojčica živela u živela u ostrvu za uh, 15 godina. Kako je došla na ostrovu? Bro, da nez, nezgoda. Oh no, she didn't! Posla i, ide, <laughs> isla u ostrovu um, i uh, živela tamo uh, za 15 godina. Ona je uh, jela uh, krompir za 15 godina. <laughs> Samo krompir! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Takođe um ra, ri, riba, ri, ribe, da. O more, more uh, životinje. Uh-huh. Kako uh, se kaže uh, trash u srpski? Znači smeće, uh, ona je napravila kuća sa smeće, smeću, smeću. Before she started learning, we gave her instruction on what she need to do during the experiment. She knows the do's and don'ts, she is learning using our Serbian course syllabus, so she is following what are in the list, so she already know what she needs to do every day through reading and looking for those lists in the syllabus. And also for the grammar, she uses my Serbian course. By the way, this Serbian grammar in Udemy is very different from a traditional teaching approach. The course is customized from a learner's perspective so that everyone will understand each of the lectures. Once you learn the basic lessons, you will not have hard time on learning the complicated ones because it is connected to each other. If you are interested, the link to the course is in the description below. Or if you have any question, you can message me. I will be there to answer your question. Back to Fika. Fika achieved this because she had determination, she had this hard work, she is disciplined. And also, a very important thing I like about her is she is very open to new techniques and strategies. I remember when she just started to learn, I had a call with her. How was your learning? I am, I think I'm doing fine. I asked her, how was your learning? Is there anything I can help? Do you have any questions? I'm still having a little bit of um, difficulties in uh, forming sentences. She also mentioned when she started using Langoid. Actually, Langoid is the application which she is using for learning. She told that it is very different of what she is used to when learning a language. Before using this language, I used Modly. I thought that's what we're doing here, but it's kind of different. Like adjusting to... yeah. And I told her, yes, this course is very different and you must trust the process. And she did. Everybody here is very proud of you. So you see the result. Ako imam premina, želim da putujem. 